Today I have been working inside the van, rearranging a few things, not a lot. It's still very similar to what the, the layout was, but I just switched a few things and I want to share that with you. So here we go. I still got space right there. That's where I will probably put my camping chairs. And then I've got four of these milk crates. And now the cool part of it is you can you can stack them double like this, one in front of the other. But what I'd like to do is Just put them all in the very back. What I would do is store things that I don't need to get to very often. And then right here, the other foot of room, I have all the way 75 inches long and about a foot wide. I store everything that I'm gonna need on a daily or weekly basis. Just, you know, whatever you need up in the front and then in the back I'm just storing what I don't need very often. I'm going to try this out for a while. See if the the cord from the fridge will reach all the way over here. If not, I even thought about putting the fridge right here too. And I believe it fits under my bed. So I can even like slide it in that little area down there but to be pulling the the fridge in and out under the bed that might get to be a, a pain in the butt it's me sitting on the bed get a little bit different angle there's the tv the fridge look at all this look at all this <laughs> a lot of space here guys a lot of space so with the trifold it's pretty neat guys like you can you can actually see the storage, just like I mentioned before. So this is going to work out much better where I can actually see the monitor and plug things in without having to open up the trunk and maneuver my way back there. So I decided to flip the battery over so I can keep an eye on it. And then of course I have those two shelves that I can adjust the height and just depends on the bins or what I have going on. I adjust it up higher or lower. So I really like this adjustable three tier shelf. And of course, I still like the TV right there. It seems to fit the best. And also this shelf, I will keep it that way. This thing is, is heavy. It's really heavy and it won't go anywhere. Um, but in any case, I have a couple of hooks there that I can always tie from here to this and just kind of strip it down to that if I feel the need. So that's pretty handy. But I think this little spot here is best suited for my camping chairs. So they can just go right there and then the other one I just set right on top of it. Just, just like so. And it's out of the way. And I still have a ton of storage. The cool thing about this setup is the bed is lightweight, it's flexible, and I can lift up to show you what I actually have. So I snuck in my my tool bag right behind there because there's still a little gap there. I can, can always stuff different things. This right here is a cooler backpack that I have my 
my fan set up. It's a Ryobi fan with the batteries. Oh, I won't fill this up because obviously I'm not going on any kind of trip. But um, when I do, I will just store extra food, extra gear. Okay, this is where I'm going to put my little um, aluminum folding table. Kind of sort of strapped by the seatbelt. All right, I decided to put my bug out bag right under there and move this crate where I have some of my uh, toilet paper and the trash can. I just kind of hold it all in this bin just so it doesn't flop everywhere. But now y'all can see. I have a trunk organizer I can actually put here and organize my clothes. That might be a good option actually. Let me show you. So it's this right here that kind of stores away into almost nothing. It's got three compartments here, and that'll be perfect because I'll have my undergarments there, and then I can have my, my shirts and my bottoms, my tops bottoms. So that might fit nicely under here. It does fit perfectly under here, you guys. Look at that. Perfectly under there. And of course, it's just kind of flopping down because I don't have anything in there. But that might be a great solution when I go for... For a few days or a few weeks put my clothes right here and they're easy access right along there so i typically move my bed either all the way to the back or all the way forward but i like to have some kind of headrest some kind of headboard makeshift type of deal Right now, that is my headboard, and when I had the bed pushed all the way forward, I had this behind it, and then this became kind of my headboard where the pillows don't slide all the way back, because <laughs> I like having a ton of pillows, and I like my head elevated, and whenever they fall off because I move around, I, that gets on my nerves. So I usually like to have some, some type of headboard. All I have left is to make my bed, so give me a second. I figured, what the heck, I might as well try it and see if the the fridge and the Blue Eddy fit in this. I had to take the third shelf off of there, but that's okay. It still works. And as far as opening this up, there's plenty of space. I can, I can have almost a hand width right here of space to get things in and out. So that's going to work out perfectly. Then to cook, I'm going to get this table set it right here and get my hot pot or whatever i need to do chop veggies fruits whatever it may be guys i'll just set that around this area and i am good to go thanks so much for watching dia's frugal life i'm dia and if you enjoy the content make sure to subscribe for more future videos hit that thumbs up put a comment on there all that good stuff you can also join the channel and become part of our coffee club. Thanks for all your love and support. Bye, guys.